Hey guys, how's it going? This video is going to be a step test between the Galaxy Fit, Galaxy Fit E, Huawei Honor Band 4, and Xiaomi Mi Band 4. So I've been getting a lot of comments in my videos about people complaining about the step counts not being accurate on these fitness trackers. And I myself up to this point have just assumed that the step tracking has been pretty accurate. But I wanted to make this video to test how accurate these fitness bands really are when it comes to step tracking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 1,000 steps, walking and running respectively. I'm just gonna keep the count of steps in my head as we go. I'm gonna take 500 steps down the trail and 500 steps back. And I'm gonna report to you how close these fitness trackers really are and how accurate they really are when it comes to step tracking. So for a point of reference, I currently have 1,734 steps on my Galaxy Fit, 1,840 steps on my Galaxy Fit E, 5,081 steps on my Mi Band 4, and 2,236 steps on my Honor Band 4. So without further ado, let's go see how accurate these fitness trackers are. Okay, so that's 1,000 steps of running. Let's check the results. So on the Galaxy Fit, we have 2,726 steps. On the Galaxy Fit E, we have 2,840 steps. Mi Band 4, we have 6,094 steps. And on the Honor Band 4, we have 3,248 steps. Okay, so starting the step test now, we are at 2,824 steps on the Galaxy Fit, 2,937 steps on the Galaxy Fit E, 6,212 steps on the Mi Band 4, and 3,354 steps on the Honor Band 4. Okay, so we just finished 1,000 steps of walking. All right, so on the Galaxy Fit, we have 3,834 steps. On the Galaxy Fit E, we have 3,945 steps. On the Mi Band 4, we have 7,208 steps. And on the Honor Band 4, we have 4,361 steps. Okay, so to summarize, all of these trackers have extremely accurate step tracking when walking and running, providing 99% or higher accuracy when combining the data from both tests. The Galaxy Fit E did provide an exact 1,000 step read on the running test, but I think any of these trackers would be perfectly capable of providing a similar result. I am honestly surprised to see how accurate these results were after reading comments of users complaining about inaccurate readings in certain use cases. The takeaway from this video is that when walking or running, all steps will register accurately, but other activities in our lives may incorrectly register as steps too and inflate our final numbers. So, if you are looking for exact step counts throughout your days, it would be safe to assume that at least 100 to 200 of your steps were picked up from other activities. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what you thought of this video. Please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today. I hope to see you around for the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.